It's a great day for football in this lovely stadium. Martin Tyler here to call the action for you, along with my good friend Alan Smith. Serie A action, it's Fiorentina against Roma. I think the first ten minutes might tell us how this match is going to pan out, who can gain the upper hand, who can get hold of this ball and ask all the questions. Fiorentina's line-up for you. Marco Benassi plays alongside Eric Pulgar. They're the central midfield players. And looking at the front men, well, there are two of them in this lineup. Well, on the subject of Roma, Alan, of course, all great things come to an end. Francesco Totti, certainly a great thing, a great player for Roma. The longevity of the man, it was astounding, wasn't it? He was completely committed to his hometown club and I doubt they'll ever have somebody to match. Pulga. A chance to play it into the centre now. Benassi. That's good defending at the end of what was a really promising break. Head in Dzeko. Cengiz under. Santon. Cristante. Lorenzo Pellegrini. Pellegrini. Brian Cristante, striding forward, purposefully. That's gone out for a throw-in. Dalbert. Chiesa. It's tipped in over the top. Can he score? Put them in front. Up for grabs here. Santon. Davide Santon. Cristante. Patrick Cutrone. Possession given away once more. Pulga. Anassi. It's a quick break, and they put away the first goal of the game. Well, it's a fine individual counter-attack, isn't it? What a goal from him. Have another peek at that goal. So the first goal, it's one nil. Jordan Veratu, Lorenzo Pellegrini. Cengiz Under. Encouraging play from this team now, keeping the ball. Now the possibility for a cross. They've defended with great organisation to get possession back after being under pressure for some time. It's about finding the right pass now. So easy in possession. Flipped up towards the back post. Well, he scored to stretch their lead, double their advantage. It's the kind of goal that forwards love, actually, because it rewards their 
ability to follow in their anticipation. Yeah, ends up being a simple looking goal, but it wasn't. As you say, it was about anticipation. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Trying to widen the approach play here, but it's out for a throw in. Cutrone. That is a tackle and a half. A chance to break away now on the counter. Clivert. Jordan Veretout. He's got some room out here in the wide position. On to Kolarov. The defender really putting his body on the line to stop the cross. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Added time coming up. There'll be two minutes of it. Well, the wide man can show his skills here. Important challenge now, he must get the ball away. Half-time now, and 2-0 is the score at the break. And here we go, the referee's blown his whistle, and we're off for the second half. Clivert. Kolorov. Disappointed with that touch. Promising build-up until that challenge. Held off the defender with some good touches here. Set up to play on the break now. Read the intentions. Pulga. Cengiz Under, Lorenzo Pellegrini. An opponent around him, that's good screening of the football. Cengiz Under, Lorenzo Pellegrini, Cristante. Difficult for the defender against the player who wants to take him on like this. I think we've seen it. The visitors controlling possession. But you can see the manager down there is less than happy. Obviously, his team's losing. That's bad enough. But no real sign so far that they're going to get back into this because they're just not able to find a way through that defence and make the keeper work. And he bangs it away. Well, the losing team have got to do something, and this is it, the substitution. To go in from here. And here's a chance for a cross. Pretty late, the challenge. Maybe they stand on gets a yellow card here. He took a chance there, really, and I don't think it paid off. Well, he's tried to go for the slide tackle, and uh, he's a faction off getting the ball. It is a foul. The substitute coming on to try and repair the damage now. Well, he can't go for goal, but it is a dangerous situation, this, because uh, if he gets it on the money, it's going to be hard to defend against. Delivers it in. Golden opportunity now. Not really away from the threat here. Jordan Veretout, Pellegrini, Santon, Lorenzo Pellegrini. A 
Now Mkhitaryan. Kolorov. Diego Perotti. Now the shot! Very nearly a goal, it's hit the bar and it's back in play. Jordan Veretout. Diego Perotti. With his skill, here's a chance to have a run at goal and take the opposition on. That could open them up. The shot is blocked. Fiorentina to make a change. Corner's taken. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. Pastore. Can't get the shot through. Good block. That's going to run on through to the goalkeeper. Banassi. Pulgar. It's 82 minutes played now. Federico Chiesa. Out to a wide man who's got room. Good support running on either side. Great team play, Alan. This isn't it. Everyone wants the ball. Yeah, and I think the movement off the ball gives the man in possession two or three options every time. Moving forward now, Fiorentina. Pulga. Not a very active way of playing this for the defending team because they're not going out and closing the opposition. They're just saying, well, you can have the ball, we'll cope with it. But it does invite the sort of pressure you can crack under. Two minutes left, that's added time. Henrik Mkhitaryan. Santon. And the referee has now called the halt. Can't get much better than this, really, Alan, to win and keep a clean sheet. Yeah, I think that would be the pleasing aspect of it, as well as the three points, the clean sheet, uh, particularly the keeper. I'd be delighted with that. Well, he's had a very good game, hasn't he? Good performance from him, and uh, I think that was probably the difference between the two teams.